We've had enough people ask, what is this tool and should I buy it? Let's take a quick look at it and I'll tell you all about it. Coming out of the box, there's not much in way of instruction, but we can see from the label that it's called the U2 TriStar Tester Fast Detector by JCID. The design is very simple, has a lightning port at the bottom and a lightning plug at the top. Does not have an internal battery, which means it needs to be powered with the lightning cable. To switch it over to English, I'm going to go here to this page, click the right button and now we pull it over into English. If we want to enter the detection interface, then we need to turn off the phone and connect it. We right click to test the U2 status or the TriStar and we click the left one to put the phone into recovery mode. This is pretty cool. It comes with a VIP quarterly card. Gives you uh, access to the, the JC drawing software for uh, looks like three months which is pretty cool which is an annual subscription so you get three free months from just buying this tool just to show you what i'm going to do i'm going to take my my personal phone here and it's asking for us to turn it off so we'll go ahead and do that i definitely need a new screen protector we'll plug in our tester says please turn phone on now so we'll go ahead and turn it on and it's going to put the phone into recovery mode but you can see here that it's given okay on all six of the lines that it's testing if any of these were to appear red you'd automatically know hey i need to replace the tristar so my phone definitely still good we're going to go ahead and restart my phone it's a pretty nifty little tool. So this TriStar tester will tell you whether or not the TriStar is bad. It's going to be testing those six main lines that go to the charging IC. However, this is only useful if the phone can still boot. The majority of cases where you're dealing with a TriStar issue, that phone will already be dead and most likely you'll have started out by simply plugging in a new battery. When a TriStar has failed, typically it results in the phone still want, still being able to boot with a charged battery, you just won't have any charging. So this tool will be useful in those cases. However, it's not a tool where you can do a quick and easy test if the device is completely dead. So that's the one downside. Because it doesn't have an internal battery, you won't have to ever worry about replacing the battery or it dying on you. You just always have to plug it in so that it'll always have power and work. And I can tell that this is a bit more rigid uh, than some of the other TriStar testers that I've used in the past. So this is probably going to last a bit longer than the others because it's a little bit more of a durable design. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you have any questions, thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.